I'll tell you a little bit about how the book came to be. Uh, I was traveling for another off for off season, another book I wrote, and I was in Cape Cod in the winter time, and I ran into a gentleman named Richard Bunasar, who is sort of the preeminent maritime historian who lives in Cape Cod. And he told me about these surf life-saving stations that existed along the Cape. The first ones were built in about 1870, and uh, they actually covered all the coastlines. They had them in Oregon, Washington, up in San Francisco. But we're talking about the sailing ships, the wooden ship day and age where rescues and wrecks were commonplace. On the Cape, they happened twice a week in the wintertime. The sailing was a pretty inexact science and winter storms were pretty fierce. And before the stations were built, if you were in a shipwreck, and you were very, very lucky, and somehow you found yourself in the water, and somehow you made it to shore in freezing cold water, and somehow you crawled up the beach in a howling gale, and somehow you find your way to a little shack that they built along the coastline, you might survive. But so many people died that eventually they thought, we need to build these stations. So they did. They built nine along the coastline of Cape Cod. and. Uh, they were hugely successful. They were, it's a piece of history that sort of faded into the mist now, but from about 1872 until 1915, when they sort of merged with another organization to become the U.S. Coast Guard, they saved 275,000 people. And at the time, during their time, they were heroes of their time. They uh, appeared on the cover of Harper's Magazine and Life and Saturday Evening Post, and uh, everybody knew all about them. But you know, time passes and everything's forgotten and a new generation comes around. So when I spent time with Dick Bunasar, I just thought, well, this is really, really interesting. And I spent probably more years than I should have working as a professional lifeguard. And I know a few other faces in the crowd did the same thing. And I don't pretend to have uh, an understanding of what these surf lifesavers did because they genuinely risked their life. The saying was, you, you have to go, but you don't have to come back. And it wasn't a light thing. I mean, many of them died. And uh, what we did on the beach when I was working in New Jersey was not life-threatening. But I do feel, I spent my whole life around the water and I felt sort of affinity for these people. And then, as I did more research, I came across moon cussers. And I thought, this is it. 